Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of African Battle Royale in World Box. So, as I said, I did a little bit of changes. I added more land bridges, connected a lot of the different islands that have just kind of been chilling by themselves. I put some grass seeds and did some rain in the desert here to see if that'll change anything. I don't know if it will. I hope it does, but... You can also put some, just do some soil in here and just quickly do this. I don't want to do too much. I just want to make sure the borders are connected. Also trees are just, they're just kind of dying. So that's fun. Let's just fill this in real quick. And then we're going to put some seeds down. I don't know if you had to put water. But here's what we're gonna do. We're 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 we have some grass seeds. Yeah, you know, there it is. I have some goddamn grass. And there we go. Hopefully this will allow more people to expand and more consolidation, because I get bored. Anyway. Oh, I also put it so you can see where people want to expand. Look at all these. This is where people are trying to expand to. That is super cool. I love that. I really do. It's now a scramble for these new zones. I don't know who's going to get it. I'm going to guess Saudi Arabia might get the rest of Saudi Arabia. Maybe. New village, new village, new village. Okay. So Botswana got it. Somewhere got it. And Ethiopia got one. Okay. Okay, well, that's cool. Now they're actually touching borders, so we'll, we should see some, you know, expansion now. And St. Helena will also expand quite a bit. Botswana is definitely going to win this war with Mali. The Dow Jones might get some good expansion going on here. Also, new expansion can lead to war. As people, at least in dozen civilization, right? So... Can't really use civilization as a guideline for this type of thing, but you know, who knows? So, village layer. Shoporo. Okay, so the Mali just absolutely destroyed or got destroyed by Botswana. Botswana is going to win this game, I swear on my life. And you're not at war with anybody. You have a huge empire. Your king only allows two villages. Dude, you need to get a new king. Your new, your king sucks. Well, you can't really put a village there, my dude. You lost. You already expanded there. So Madagascar is going to be ripped soon. Ethiopia is alive and kicking somehow. Is there anybody at war with each other? It does not look like it. So let's kick up the speed here to five. We'll wait till the next war pops out. Botswana is doing some expansion, it looks like, or they're trying to. They got two more villages. How's Ethiopia doing? Ethiopia is doing okay. Saudi Arabia has a second village. About time. Dow Jones only has two as well. So Botswana just got hit by a meteor. Somebody else just got hit by a meteor. I remember I did a video where there's like a meteor after meteor after meteor after meteor. Who do you, how do you feel about everybody? You're fine with Dow Jones. You really don't like Botswana, which makes sense. But I doubt you're going to declare war on each other. Purely based on the fact that you, it's like mutually assured destruction. And you don't want to see that happen. So, oh, hey, this is where the demons have been hanging out, by the way. So that's fun. How you, I gave everybody unlimited resources, right? Yeah, I think I did. So it looks like these two are prepping for a war with each other. Oh, you're 400 by like a little over 600. Maybe somewhere consolidates with Ethiopia and really tries to work their magic that way. That's the only strategic way that I could think of because Botswana is growing faster and they have more territory. <sighs> I don't know, man. They also just keep getting hit by fucking meteors. Oh my god. I'm not doing this, by the way. My hands are crossed. My arms are crossed in a very eh, pouty kind of thing. 
Ooh, I have leftover pizza from last night, and I think I'm going to eat that after this episode. I also had to record a shit ton of these because it's not that I dislike it, but it's because I am going into the field again. Bots wanted to declare war on somewhere. Here we go. It's the it's the battle for the rest of the game. Look at all those army groups. Oh my god. And Botswana is just rolling over somewhere right now. That's not even a competition. Wow. Another meteor. Everybody's like, oh, let's go, let's go colonize it, colonize, colonize. New village, new village, new village. It's, I, why would you want to be in a, a crater like that? <gasps> Saint Helena? Saint Helena? You, you Chad? Ethiopia declared war on somebody. Who did you? Oh, okay, somewhere. You're just trying to pick up the scraps. Saint Helena, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Somewhere is attacking Madagascar now. Like, why? Why, though? Dow Jones is not doing anything right now. So somewhere is getting absolutely split in half. Botswana is murdering everybody. St. Helena, you, you know, you did your best. <laughs> you did your best, and your best was not good enough. Ethiopia actually took a good amount of territory as well, so good for them. But Botswana is just here for cleanup now. This is this is cleanup crew time. Somewhere has been destroyed. St. Helena has been destroyed. Ethiopia is at war with Botswana. I'm wondering... Oh, there it is. Okay, I was about to say, did they inherit that war, or did they just do that immediately? And Madagascar is no longer at war with anybody. It's kind of crazy. The Dow Jones has like 120 people ready for war. Oh? Ethiopia? Ethiopia? Are you currently... Ethiopia, are you currently winning this war that you shouldn't be... Buddy. Pal. Oh, yeah. You're... <laughs> yeah, good luck. Uh, wow. That's... You took some territory, but you weren't able to hold it. For obvious reasons. Oh, we haven't looked at the culture layer, I don't think. Let's look at the culture layer. Culture layer. There it is. Pretty diverse. With no real dominant culture. The highest I see is a 250 at Ethiopia. St. Helena has been destroyed. Well, you could have told me that. I already I, I already knew that. Pretty old information there, game. Well, you know, Ethiopia is putting up a little bit of a fight. More of a fight than I was expecting, to be completely honest. But this is over. Botswana is the winner. There's no coming back from this. Madagascar took some territory. It doesn't matter. Madagascar can take a village here and there. But they're, they are not... They are not going to win this. All the rest of the nations combined have under a thousand population. And I'm pretty sure that Botswana has got a higher light amount of soldiers. Yeah, Madagascar has just been destroyed. So Botswana rolled. Congratulations to any viewers from Botswana. Bots just want to have fun. Yeah, bots just want to have fun. They really want it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a cover of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, if that's. if you're into that kind of thing. So, Saudi Arabia is the last remaining person. And <laughs> the Dow Jones just is like, hey man, I'm not at war with anybody. In fact, you're super friendly with them. You're like ultra friendly with them. That won't last very long. And that's purely for the fact that... Yeah. It seems like Botswana just does not give a fuck. So Botswana declared war on Saudi Arabia. Yeah, now they're just cleaning up. This is like, like playing Risk versus the computer. And you just start... You know, you, you do your logical path and you put one person behind on each uh, area of land. And you just destroy everybody. This is not even close. I mean, Saudi Arabia, RIP to you. You finally got a second village because I cleaned in the... I made the desert habitable and you just get absolutely freaking destroyed.
So Saudi Arabia is dead. This is pretty fast, actually. The new wars make these episodes last like no time at all. I kind of want to do one where you do a randomly generated iceberg map and I do a random country generator name. That's what we're going to do for the next set of episodes because I have to record a lot of these, like I said. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a randomly generated map and we're going to put down a bunch of people, give them random country generated names and we're going to see what happens from there. We'll probably do some of the debug stuff. I might turn off the colonization one just based on the fact that it didn't really seem to do very much. Then again, I overpacked these places. So we'll do 10 countries, I think. So now, are you two ever going to declare war on each other? Well, congratulations. Now you did. So let's see how long. Let everybody want to put a prediction to how long. Dow Jones is going to live. I'm going to say that they're going to live an entire two minutes on times three speed. Look at that. Look at all those warriors going in there. God damn. Hey, remember when I said they're going to last two minutes? And they lasted 20 seconds. Holy shit. Okay, well... This episode is not going to be too crazy long. We're going to have to put on some rebellions here. Let's see what happens. Uh, rebellions. Here we go. Who's going to pop out first? That is a huge area that popped out. That actually might... That actually might survive. Maybe. Hard to tell. Dupo of Sun. Nope, you're not going to survive. Who's, who's next? Who's next? Okay, let's place your bets. Place your bets. Place your bets. I'm going to guess that it's going to be probably not South Africa because that's their homeland. Maybe the Dow Jones. I can see that popping out by itself. A lot of area didn't get conquered and I think the map was just a little... Holy shit. They just exploded. Botswana, buddy. And are you at war with everybody? That's the question, actually. I don't think you are. You're actually not at war with anybody. These were all peaceful. This is a disgusting map. <laughs> In terms of border gore. Oh, it's so hard to look at. Like, the cuss. Why? Why are you like this? And then Patty looks fine. The G look fine. The Great Gab have founded their own kingdom, although they founded their own kingdom and they decided to go to war immediately. It's probably not the best for them. <laughs> Enas. Enas. So you're going to die. I wonder how long Botswana is going to live. I doubt that they'll be able to consolidate everything before exploding again. That's why I don't like putting rebellions on too much. Because it makes it really hard, A, to have one polity's name kind of like get spread across the map, which is the idea behind all of this. But sometimes that's not how it turns out. I think Botswana is going to eventually blow up here. Uh, completely, actually. Oh, they almost lost. Oh, they're losing a little bit of their kingdom to the holy tie. But then again, like I said, nobody's going to be able to take down Botswana. I was also hoping that this wasn't going to be a 15-minute episode because I feel like you, if I post something like that, y'all are going to feel like you got screwed. So we're going to let this play itself out. I want to see somebody like come out and just destroy Botswana and dealing with all these rebellions. The ELO Kingdom. Oh, that's such a good name. That's actually hilarious. Oh, ELO. ELO. Are they going to win? No, no way. Botswana's got to be pretty low on army size. Nope, they have 700. Never mind. <laughs> Despite the fact that everybody seems to be popping out of them, which is, you know, st strictly true. They still have 700 people. They're just ultra militarized. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off. We're going to turn off rebellions now. But we're going to force a couple rebellions. Okay. 
All right, so where is the rebellion forcing button? Here we go. Inspiration, and we're going to click it three times. One, two. Oh, it, it just decides to put one. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's see if Botswana can take back their all their old lands. I'm kind of curious if they can. I don't think they will. Yeah, they might, though. Hmm. Yep, they definitely will. Man, this is just... They're just not taking any shit from anybody. I mean, the the coos aren't even doing anything. And I thought for sure they'd at least have a chance. Let's turn off that for a second. Where are you at war with? Nobody. Well, that's not surprising. This... Oh, man, Botswana is so powerful. Damn, Botswana, you're so powerful. Okay, who is the... Who has the highest, largest village in Botswana? No, it's just a collection of people, really. It's not... It's not like they have a ton of population. Actually, which is surprising. So... Yeah, they're just just completely cleaning up. Okay, so what happens if we just do Ultra Rebellion? Just the world exploded. There you go, Botswana. You still have 900 people, but let's see. Let's see what happens here. It's just like the, the map is back to how it was. Oh, nope, Botswana is actually about to die to somebody. Probably R, maybe? Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Botswana's dead. RIP Botswana. Kinda. Nope, you're still up here. You got absolutely destroyed. It sucks. Or, nope, you're still taking over territory somehow. I don't understand. How? What the fuck, Botswana? Why are you such a Chad? Oh no, you just lost to R. Okay, no, R is now the new Chad. I think. Maybe. Realm of the Tug. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Mm, yeah, you're at war with like half the world, my dude. Yep, RIP Botswana. Well, you, you dream. You had a dream, You and now it's gone. A dream have, that dream has left you. I dream a dream that's worth living. I dream a dream of days gone by. I'm sorry. All right. So we have two minutes to figure out something to do. Holy Emok has declared war on Botswana. I bet, uh, I bet Aaron Rodgers down here ends up taking over by everybody. If I had to take a guess here. Who are you at war with? Nobody. You are not at war with anybody. Sad. So, that's fun. You're not at war with anybody either, are you? Oh, no, that, that that's that's the same people. Are you alive still? No, you're... It's just the same color. Border-wise. Of... Formerly known as Botswana. Kind of crazy that all these people used to be Botswana and... Bots Botswanaian? Botswanaite. Oh, earthquake. I don't know where that happened, but it happened somewhere. So, is anybody going to declare war on anybody here? Is Aaron Rodgers going to consolidate all of the world again? Probably not. Well, that's depressing. Okay, so how do you guys want to die today? How about a plague? Yeah, just have some, just have some plague, just uh, a little, little plague. You're, you're not dying from the plague. Why are you not dying from the plague? Is this not working? Oh, it is working. Just, uh, here we go. Here's, here's some plague. Is that actually killing people? Kinda. Oh nope, a, a bunch of kings are dying. I, I, I don't know if that's, are these just not high enough population centers to die of the plague? I can't tell. 
Okay, let's add some zombification here. Where, where's my zombie here? Zombie infection. Oh, right. So let's start the zombies down here. Just kind of destroy South Africa. Now, there's a lot of bad things happening. It's cool. It's kind of like everybody's sending their armies down here to fight these zombies. Why? Why is that on fire? What? What? Why are you on fire? Oh, there's also a debug thing to show who's got the plague and who's infected, but I, I feel like that would just absolutely crash my game. Yeah, there's just wars going on between humans and zombies right now, and I think the zombies are going to win, which is pretty cool. Although they are uh, gaining population like crazy. Look at all the zombies. Oh my god. It is lagging my game. <laughs> I like how I was like, why are there so many zombies? And then it's just like, what? Well, I mean, why is everything on fire? I'm like, well, there's a lot of zombies. The Kuss has declared war. Well, the wars are starting. There is way too much going on. Even to, I'm not even going to slow it down and I don't really care. Well, the world's going to die. You guys can kill each other if you want. Take as much territory, but uh, y'all are going to become zombies. And I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Look at all the battles. Holy shit. Yep. So this population center just got murdered. And so let's look at the world population. Is it going down? Nope, it's going up. I really don't understand how it's going up if there's more zombies than people. Oh, well, there it goes. Now it's going down. Nope, it's steady. Well, AR is getting taken over. This is uh, it's a lot. I know it's on times five, and I'm not really trying to commentate on anything. But is beasts considered the same as zombies? Oh no, infected. Is that the same? Are zombies beasts or infected? A lot of places are getting destroyed. A lot of places are being founded. A lot going on up here. It looks like only South Africa is still full of zombies. Hard to tell, though. Man, this world's on fire. I think zombies is beast because it's going crazy high up. There's about half as many zombies as there are people. I don't think people can win. I think it if you, if you let this infection go too much... There's also a thousand people infected with the plague still. This country just got absolutely destroyed. This country is going to die. Look at all them dang old zombies. This country is holding out somehow. Usually Madagascar is pretty safe uh, from infections like in Plague Inc. But not when I create a land bridge. And RIP that. So it looks like how this works is you don't need to have zero population for the village to get destroyed it probably you just need to have everybody being zombies and there's like 300 zombies in here or something like that so who's next to go down you think this is actually pretty cool i'm glad that i did this i've never seen the zombie infection work so well actually are people are really gonna try no okay is this a zombie army that is in fact a zombie army well, sorry, you guys. This is uh, kind of how it has to happen. Because I don't know. And I'm honestly surprised that this place still exists. I don't even know how that's happened. There's almost more zombies now than there are people. So we're getting into the Walking Dead type of territory now. Yep, zombies have officially overtaken human beings. So that's cool. And it's not particularly close. The population is finally just steadily going down. So, there's not a lot of infected people left, and there's not a whole lot of houses. So, it looks like all of southern Africa is just going to get absolutely wrecked. And you can tell the places that haven't been attacked by zombies yet. Because there's not a lot of battles, but this is pretty much like the battle line. This is still holding out. This is actually the most impressive spot because 
those all those little green dots you can see those are zombies those are zomboys just kind of chilling <laughs> it's just like a, a a king spawns and then just immediately gets destroyed so how many we've got 6700 zombies now compared to 4000 people the Vo are the last rem big remnants of society, and they've the zombie infection has finally spread to them. So this this is probably going to be rip. I'm just surprised people are alive down here still somehow. But uh, another <laughs> people are making peace with each other. Well, you've got a little bit of more of a problem than uh, your neighbor is attacking you. One village has been one village has been destroyed. I like watching all the villages get destroyed. This is cool. This has been consolidated. A lot of this land was never actually taken over. But. Are you. Oh, zombies can't use boats. Oh, there goes that village. Okay, well, that's another one done. You're probably next. <laughs> Look at all the zombies. Oh my god. There's only 3,000 people left. Yeah, the majority of them are right here. And the zombie plague is definitely spreading through that pretty good this is dead this is dead this is dead will botswana it's like i think the zombies are basically botswana they came back for for vengeance and i've been talking so much this is my fourth episode i've recorded today i've been talking so much that my voice is actually starting to go a little bit which is pretty fun so the the vo the vo you Look like they might be rip. Absolutely rip. Yeah, you're you're dead. You're dead. All right. Who's next? The Vo are next, probably. The Cus survived the longest, and I think that's kind of where we started the infection-ish. Not really. It was actually a different spot, but this is a uh, Capcom's Capcom's wet, wet dream. I think really. This is basically what happens if you don't win Resident Evil Five. So, a lot of things are, and I love how there's still ships. That's like the last remnant of society right there. And there's 10,000 zombies almost. So, this is what happens, game. This is what happens when you decide to have one kingdom just absolutely take over. Ugh. I've hit my pop filter like about a hundred times 900 people less than 900 folks left alive or humans left alive we're finally we're kind of chilling around 10,000 zombies i don't think it'll go much higher oh there it goes okay it's safely over 10,000 now so r has ar has been destroyed the patty kingdom has been destroyed no Somebody else got destroyed. I don't remember. I'm not even paying that much attention. The Vo is still alive. Or Vo died, but the Vo is still here. Big difference. It's kind of like Ohio University versus the Ohio State University. You know. As one does. So. Who's going to die first between the Vo and the Vui? Vahi? I don't know. But do the zombies eventually die? Will they die if they don't have any food? Maybe. They're not exactly gaining in population. There's like 200 people left. Oh, there goes the Vo and... The Paddy Kingdom's actually uh, holding out pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Are... There's no way you survive, right? Like, you're the only people left in the world. <laughs> the, the game's lagging because there's so many zombies in, on screen yeah no this is the end of civilization as we know it so congratulations patty kingdom i mean you technically get the the moral victory for living the longest and as a as a reward you get to watch everybody die goodbye zombies oh my god the game's lagging so bad And the continent is flooding. How many people are left? Uh, I killed 10,000 zombies there. That's pretty good. Oh, 
I didn't mean to nuke you. Sorry about that. Well, I have officially murdered everything. I like how the water kind of slips in too. There's still 41 zombies kicking around somewhere. Oh, probably right down here. I don't think everybody's alive anymore. So, there it is. That's Africa for you. It actually lasted two episodes, kind of, almost. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that garbage. And let me know how I'm doing. If you have any suggestions for a future series, let me know. See you next time.